Well, welcome back, guys, to another The Outer Worlds. Thank you again for joining me. Um, please hit that like button. It sends me a lot of positive energy. And if you like um, to watch any other of my videos, just hit subscribe. Well, let's get back into it. Hope you guys are doing well. Damn it, did it again. Sneak past this thing. Shh, easy now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's find these secrets. See how fast I die. <laughs> I just want cooler clothes. Wonder where I can find some. Nice to get a little fresh air in your lungs. Marauder. Now we're gonna sneak past these guys. Some of the outlaws they were talking about. What was that? Right, let's get over here. No, I'm kind of, I don't want to sneak around, but I don't have the right stuff. These guys don't go down easy. Right, let's go. Look at this. 
Yep, we're going for the data. All we want is the data. Oh, crap. Corporate recruit. Uh. Hey guys. Who the? Ooh. You. Yeah, you. Get over here. You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? Antelon sent me to help. You're in charge of security. That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is they haven't been able to escape neither. Are there any other ways out of there? They got in through the ventilation system, but we locked that down. There's no access from their level without a security key card. That also means no fresh air down there. Probably reeks of wrapped on musk. Couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. How have they been dealing with the uh, Raptodons? They don't care which side their lunch is on, but the Rapt cells are down with the outlaws, so they're the appetizers. When it looks like they're fixing to make a sally upwards, I have a sniper pop the lock on a Rapt cell. It's kept them busy. Hmm, huh. that's clever. Thanks. Company will probably bill me, but better lose a rap than get shot, I says. So it's a stalemate. For now. I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither. And our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. You locked down the vents the attackers entered through. Are you sure they'll hold? Pretty damn sure. The shafts are sealed with four centimeter hatches. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Where can I find your office? Why you want to know that? I need a security key card. What for? I'm going down there after these guys. I don't want to get trapped by a door you locked behind me. Fair point. Here's a key card to my office. Head left from here and downstairs. It's across from the cafeteria. I got a machine that makes pass cards for us. Just don't knock over any paperwork in there. I got a system. What exactly do you do around here? Who, me? Or you mean the lab in general? The lab in general? Soap or something? I don't know. Years back, they made antibiotics. You could maybe ask Doc Crane what he does all day. <laughs> so long as they pay you, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, the pay ain't much, but it's never been about the bits. I like Roseway. Alright, enough talk. Those outlaws won't wait forever. Sorry guys, it's just uh, I keep getting hit and like I'm too used to feeling feeling it in the controller. That I don't realize I'm getting hit.
system alert. I'm ready for this. Oh, that didn't seem to do anything. How am I going to do with this? Well, I'm running. Ah! Eat it! Gotcha. That's good. This plasma rifle is the way to go. Hell yeah. Guys aren't gonna need it. They got into the vault already. The safe has been forcibly opened, with its contents tossed about haphazardly. The remaining notes refer to various aborted projects. Anton's prized research is nowhere to be found. Scorched marks along the rim suggest the work of unsettled thieves outlaws. Most likely made off with uh, Anton's work. I'm gonna guess that all the nothing in that safe is in what we were expected to find. Basically.
Looks like the outlaws have it. Alright guys. Yeah, you stay with that. Party. That looks like you're good. See what we can find. You gotta show me how you did that. Gas canister. Huh. Label on this canister states Auntie Cleo's Raptigon. It's guaranteed to render even the largest raptors unconscious for no less than six hours. It has a refreshing antiseptic scent. Gas dispersal will be found. This canister may prove very useful. Hmm. You reckon it's normal in a lab like this to just leave weapons all over? Or is it just whoever works here? What's this? Orson, you assured me that new lunch, <laughs> the new lunch rations are harmless, but I've experienced an expected flood of symptoms. I've lagged irregular seepage every afternoon between 1423 and 1443. <laughs> Find what I consider evidence deposition in your mailbox. Huh. Orson, I took our auto mechanical parts back. I catch you swiping from maintenance again. I'll slap you down so hard they'll feel it in Byzantium. We got enough problems keeping them contraptions running. Hey Orson, if you're up for it, there should be a new batch of concentrated distillate available tonight. Meet me outside the gate at 1700. Alright, there's got to be a way to vent the gas. I 
I'm going to give that to Pavardi. Good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Anton wants a problem fixed. I imagine he means you? Yes, I imagine he does. But we all have problems. It is the human condition. I am myself ensnared in this wretched place. You want to kill me. I don't want to die. Therefore, it is in my best interest to negotiate with you. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for my life. You're going to have to make me a better offer. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. I don't know. My while's worth a lot. I am good for my word. You will be equitably rewarded on my honor. But I will not haggle or bargain with you until you help me. Why are you down here? Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. Secret research facility, abandoned town, minimal security. Actually, no. I'm tracking down a distress call. Crane actually sent out a cry for help? Oh, the poor bastard. Seeing his life's work snatched from him? Must be like losing a child. What have you got against Enton? Crane is the man who runs this lab. Probably gone around the bend, fretting over his beloved research. Not that there's anything lovable about diet toothpaste. Nothing wrong with taking care of your teeth? Diet toothpaste. Can you imagine a more pernicious example of corporate materialism? I do not know what is worse. Working here, or dying here. So you went through all this trouble to steal a formula for diet toothpaste? What matters is that I have been lied to. I was led to believe this was a high-priority corporate facility hiding valuable research. This job was not supposed to end with me stuck in some wretched lab smelling like rats. So I would be very much obliged if you gave me a break. What's in it for me? You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust no, crap, me, doing I'll make it worth your while. Tell me what you need. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Clio Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Anton was worried you might have made off with his research. He even called the Cretans. Give me a little credit. We are not bandits. We do not steal research. We liberate it. So a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. I will not be accountable for every idiot who wanders in front of my gun. You robbed a lab and shot some scientists on the way out. You sound like bandits to me. Semantics. If I were consigned to spending my days making diet toothpaste, I would pray for a bullet to my skull. You don't seem to care much for that research. May as well hand it over. It is my one bargaining chip. If you want this research, you will help me out of this mess. Check has my research. What the? What was that? Looks like we're doing this!
Alright, she has my research. Oh, bitch. She has my research. I don't know how to get to her. You are asking yourself if I can be trusted. I do I not blame you. I am asking myself the same question about you. I've given it some thought. I'll help you. Outstanding. I knew you would come around. Don't flatter yourself. I expect you to pay me for my trouble. On my honor. You will be well rewarded. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. Security console. Me, we are going to take her out. Right, where's that security? All I want is the money so we can get the damn thing from Gladiator. Stupid nav key. Take out the raptors and the uh, security. Finally. 
I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. I'll be back. Looks like the way is clear. Right, I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. Okay, I've unlocked your cell and put down the wraps. You'll have to deal with the guards yourself. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. I need you to give me that research, though. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Because you don't want a price on your head? Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. I didn't save your life for free. Good. I never trust a freelancer who works for free. Come on, man. Throw, a little, <laughs> throw in a little something for the orphans. Orphans? Is that what you are calling yourself now? Here, 
Let it never be said that I do not reward good work. You did the right thing. Goodbye. Yeah. Apparently there's more than one way to skin a cat. Alright, let's head on over and talk to Anton. Better ha better have my money. Ooh, sneak past these guys. Shit. All right, cool. Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. I'm convinced the outlaws that staying would be hazardous to their health. My research? Please tell me you've recovered it. Yes, here it is. That's... You can't possibly understand the enormity of what you've done for me. And what, pray tell, is the status of our raptodons? I ain't touched them. That's your mess to clean up. That... That complicates the equation somewhat. No matter, I have the research. Excellent. If we're done here, I'd like to get back to work. You understand. Was there anything else? Actually, there is something else. Um, why do you suppose Auntie Cleo's would want to market diet toothpaste to the lower classes? I believe it has something to do with reducing food requirements and thereby lowering costs. Yes, but that doesn't quite ring true. There's something amiss here. It nags at me like a sore tooth, but I can't for the life of me figure out why. You know, reducing the appetites of people performing physical labor is potentially life-threatening. By the architect, this could be a disaster. Why did I not realize that? I'd like to talk about something else.
I suppose you've earned it. Still not understand. Still don't understand why all the secrecy. It's highly illegal to have brought the Raptodons to Terra too. The research done on them before Monarch was left to the dregs was too promising to just abandon, so here we are. And the corporation really wouldn't have come to your aid? You've not much idea how these things work, do you? If Auntie Cleo could be connected to what we're doing here, they'd be ruined. Everyone skirts the law looking for an edge, but the ultimate sin is to be exposed. Plausible deniability is everything. Hmm. I suppose I'll be going. Bye. Best way to get people to talk to talk to the bar tender. Hey, you're still around. You seem eager. You seem eager to get rid of me. I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Got time for some questions? Sure. Not like I get many customers. Why is this place called the 17th Bar? I'm so glad you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. These people are wrong. Truth is, we've been established, closed down, renamed, reestablished, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years. Exciting times. How do you make any money with so few people in town? Technically, I'm not in business at all. Roseway closed down years ago. Corporate still sends us the occasional shipment of necessities through unofficial back channels. Of course, if something goes wrong, like one of our guards drinking himself to an early grave or raptodons running wild, Corporate won't acknowledge we ever existed. You ever get tired of serving Auntie Cleo products? Can't say I do. Auntie Cleo products satisfy all of our nutritional needs. At least they used to. My folks filled their whole pantry with all sorts of Auntie Cleo products. These days, we don't get much in the way of variety. Maybe some Tripicale pasta or some ketchup if we're lucky. I hear it's like that all over the colony. We eat what we can get. And we don't get much. I'll see you later. There we go. I got what I need to give to Gladys. Back to the ship. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? What? Why are the- What? Why are there cows on my ship? Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy-like, ain't it? Where'd these cows come from? Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Where'd these cows come from? Got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have powerful I source? prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. 
perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on a lost hope? Don't try to change the subject. As the organics say, I wouldn't dream of it. Because I can't. Dream, you know. What do you think about the trap colonists on the hook? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what that might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. What about your last captain? Do you miss him? Or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains of the ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. That's all for now. Where the hell did these cows come from? Nice to know. I guess this is what in Star Wars they would call the refresher. What's up, dude? Good to see you, boss. So, how'd you end up on the Groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. I think you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. At least you weren't obligated to anybody else. You were free. Stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Imagine spending your whole life looking out at the stars and knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. Sounds rough, Felix. Where'd you find work? Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. <laughs> right, the incident with the toss ball stick. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You would have tried it. You couldn't have been diplomatic about it? Yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. You could thank me by not giving me any trouble. That's just crazy talk. You know we'd never have a problem. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Yeah, leave that for the crew. What's up, dude? 
I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? I can know something about those I'm flying with. What's your story? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. Yeah, violently enthusiastic disposition, huh? Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. Were they not religious? On the contrary. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that peace. I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. <laughs> well, weren't they proud when, <laughs> when you became a vicar, at least? They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige. But that was not me. What's the plan you keep talking about? The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the Grand Plan. Is the Grand Architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? The answers to these questions don't really matter. The equation, the plan, is all that matters. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in the plan. All right, if you can't help but follow the plan, then everything you do is part of it, right? The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. All right, I'll take it over and get back to you, Vicar. Sam. Okay. I didn't know we had an automatic on the ship. We got cows and an automatic on the ship. That is weird. Maybe I should explore the ship for a, <laughs> a little bit longer. Wow, look at that. Look at that view. Through this dirty ass glass. Look at that view. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me today. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.